Do you ever get that feeling when you just don't know where to start? You see all sorts of photographs across social media, these effortlessly beautiful flower arrangements. And then you think you'd love to go to class, but you're a little bit scared about going to class because everybody seems so good already. Well, how do you get over those hurdles? Hello there, I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging classes. Now, back up there a bit. Julie Davis Flower Workshops. I'm the florist that teaches. I'm here to inspire you and pass on the skills and confidence so that you can arrange flowers for your home or that special occasion. Now, what's the first place to start? Well, the first thing is to decide how much you can afford to spend on your flowers, what occasion you're buying them for, what time of the year it is and whether you want to buy seasonal flowers, and perhaps think about what colours you want to use. And having bought your flowers home, what do you do with them? And that is the absolute first hurdle. You don't want to be spending your hard-earned cash and then discover two days later your flowers have died. Well, come along with me today as I'm doing a few errands and I'll share with you a few little hints, tips and advice to get you going on your journey to be a flower arranging supremo. But first, I'm off to my daughter's dance class. She's made some cakes. Ooh, I left her to it, quite gaudily coloured, but they're raising money for costumes for the competition team. Well, that's job number one done, and I took the opportunity of buying loads and loads of raffle tickets because the first prize is a term worth of free dance classes. So, so I'm hoping I've got a winning ticket here. Next thing is I'm going to go to Canterbury and I've got to drop back some curtains and a curtain pole I bought which were number one the wrong thing and number two the wrong size. So if you're looking for some free advice as to how you can get your flowers to last longer of course you've got the whole of the internet to search up for information and of course YouTube is a fantastic resource too but if I was to sum it up in a few phrases I would say that once you've bought your flowers you need to almost treat them as if they're frozen food and as soon as you get home I don't know if you do this as well I divide out what food's going to go in my fridge what's going in the freezer and I put those away first of all and I save all my fresh and my canned produce until later on but with my flowers I as soon as you possibly can take them out of that cellophane wrapping recut the stems and put them in water if you'd like some more detailed advice about that I do actually have a free five-day mini course that you might be interested in signing up to and I'll leave a link to it in the show notes underneath this video there's no commitment or obligation on your side it just means I send you a really short email for, um, once a day for five days and then you can follow through some of my advice I can tick another job off my list I've returned the curtains and the curtain pole which weren't quite the right size for the project I had in mind at home I always get a bit nervous when I do that not the fact that I'm going to return something you're constantly checking your pockets to make sure you've got the receipts it's a bit like when you go on holiday you know ticket passport foreign currency ticket passport foreign currency and uh, I was just slightly worried that, um, you know, mysteriously, my receipt would disappear between me checking at home, it was still there, and arriving at the cash till. So, job done. Money's back in my account. The replacement curtains that I bought are all up at home and they look absolutely fabulous. The next thing I'm going to do is to head across the road here in Canterbury and go across to Neptune, which is a beautiful store. Um, curated sort of modern farmhouse style of um, furniture and interior decor items now i happen to know that my friend anna from anna country anna's country flowers is doing a drop-in flower arranging demonstration there today so i thought it'd be a great opportunity while i was dropping off those items that i needed to return that i just crossed the road and catch up with anna and anna did some fabulous arrangements i missed out on her first two projects she was a hand tied and then she did a low nest style arrangement using real eggshells to add in you know add a decorative touch to her flowers and i did catch her doing a um a large installation piece and she had this beautiful frame that was clamped onto a long farmhouse star table and she had arrangements going at the side and across the top as well and she had used the moss sausage technique for that and then was adding in her fresh flowers and although anna is a flower, flower farmer she said that the flowers aren't sufficiently mature on her patch yet so she had bought in her flowers from very various English suppliers I think mainly based down in Cornwall where the climate is slightly warmer and Anna had some really great advice if you are picking flowers from your garden she said 
forget the baskets, forget swanning around looking beautiful in your floaty skirt with your flower basket. You need to take a good old functional bucket with you and as you cut your flowers you need to put them straight in water in order that they don't fade. So another great tip whether you're buying your flowers from the supermarket or your local florist or picking them from your garden, the key is to cut them and put them into water as soon as you possibly can. Now the next thing I did was to go to the local supermarket. Now I am not our designated shopper so I don't often go to the supermarket but a lot of the ladies who come to class with me have told me that Morrison's or at least this particular branch of Morrison's not only has the normal flower stand you'd expect to find at a supermarket but it also has an in-house florist and you can buy flowers by the stem. And so I thought I might as well check it out as I got a little bit of time on my own. And that brings us to the next issue about buying flowers and arranging flowers. And you know, what colours you're going to go for? Do you feel overwhelmed when you go to the supermarket and you're picking out your flowers? Do you know your names of your flowers? And it can be quite a tricky thing to do if you're not used to it. And I would say there's a little bit of thinking on your feet that's required if you are buying your flowers from the supermarket. You need, of course, to set your budget. So you need to be mentally adding up how much the individual um, flower flowers are going to cost you. And you need to think about colours as well. So it can be an array of just, you know, pick and mix, and it can be quite difficult to look at. And I'd spotted some flowers in the flower bar where the florist had to serve me. And I bought some very small flowered chrysanthemums and also a tuber rose, which is available in season this time of the year. So I'm filming this in March. So I got the florist to serve me. And then while I was there, I picked up some more white flowers just from the casual pre-packed bunches. So the baby's breath or gypsophilia and then snapdragon or antirhinum. So each of those cost me, oh, I think actually I might have been overcharged. Three pounds a stem. Oh, it's because I didn't do the right thing. Three pounds a bundle, but I've just noticed here, two for five pounds. So I didn't notice that sticker um, in the shop. So I paid six pounds for those and then six pounds for my other bundle as well. So 12 pounds and that will make a really lovely display. Now, when I get home, I've got two options. I either do the cut and plonk of flower arranging. So you take your flowers out of the wrapping and you recut the stems and you just plonk them into a vase and just let them settle where they are and that is absolutely fine to enjoy your flowers like that but if you want to improve your skills a little bit and finesse your flower arranging skills you might want to take your flower arranging up a level and that means cutting your flowers short and being more creative with the way you arrange them and again you'll find loads and loads of videos on YouTube which will help you how to do that and there's two particular channels that you might want to look at these two YouTubers arrange their flowers in the style that you'll probably be very familiar with if you do attend a flower club and they are I've momentarily forgotten the names I think it's, it's, there's one, um, I'll leave a link to both those channels in the show notes under this video. One of them is a Scottish chap and his channel is called Flower Juice, J-O-O-S. And the other one is a Welsh lady and I believe her name is Sharon. So um, I will leave links to those and you can have a look and see whether you can get some lovely flower arranging inspiration from them. And at the same time, I should say, of course, I've got loads and loads of videos on my own channel that you might want to scroll through. But if you want some specific guided advice, more tailored learning, I do have a really fantastic course, which is called Flower Start. And as the name suggests, it starts you off in your journey to becoming more confident with arranging flowers. So I'll leave a link to that in the show notes underneath the video. And the programme is four weeks long. It's delivered by email and pre-recorded videos. And you're more than welcome if you sign up to class to show off what you've been making on the Friday homework days in my free Facebook group, Flower Start World. So I've got a question for you. How would you rate your flower arranging skills? Are you a beginner who who's just learning how to cut and condition, look after your flowers? Or are you a little bit more confident and you're able to arrange flowers more creatively in a vase and, and perhaps even make a tied bouquet? And what about if you're looking to stretch your skills a little bit further? That's probably the time, if you haven't done so already, where you might actually want to take some classes. And I know what it can be like. First of all, if you're not tuned into all things flower arranging, you might find it difficult to find a class near you. I would always suggest looking at your local adult education because they may well have evening classes in flower arranging. You may know or 
perhaps you follow florists on Facebook or on Instagram and they run and they may run courses either from their shop or like my friend Anna from her own flower farm or you might be prepared to invest a little bit more money and take a class with one of the big names in flower arranging and perhaps even visit a London flower school. But if that all seems a bit too scary and you're a bit nervous and you think everyone's going to be so much better than you, the thing is to remember everybody starts at the beginning. So you just take it step by step and the days where you go to learn are the days when you go to learn. That is when you're going to make your mistakes, learn what went learn what went wrong and then adapt in your skills and techniques so you can make a better job of it the next time round. And of course that's exactly what I do on my Zoom flower classes which take place on a Tuesday at noon. Now the beauty about learning online is that of course you don't need to travel, you don't need to book your train, you don't need to travel in rush hour, you can take the classes in the comfort of your own home. And if you're interested in my current Zoom flower classes, I'll leave a link to it in the show notes underneath the video. My classes have been running on Zoom for the last two years, so if you've missed them up to now, you can always watch them on catch up and you will find those videos in the shop section of my website. And again, I'll leave a link to that in the show notes underneath this video. So the thing to do is you just need to take the plunge. If you're happy with cutting and plonking, just stick with it. But if you do want to expand your skills, build on your confidence, taking a flower class is probably the next step for you. So before I go, don't forget to join my free Facebook group, Flower Start World, and also check out the playlists on my channel. They're divided seasonally into spring, summer, autumn, winter, and Christmas flower arrangements. So if you feel that paying for a class isn't right for you right now, I've got lots of free classes that you can join. That's all for me for now, and I wish you good luck at the start of your flower arranging journey, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you.